there is much more to iOS 13, starting with apps. Let's start with Safari, Mail, and Notes. Now, Safari has... Yes, I say the experience across all the devices and services are getting better. Uh, they're faster, they're brighter, they're more personalized, they're more secure, and they're more private. And so now we have the solution. It's called Sign In with Apps. So I think there were two things for me is one is Apple's entry into the identity space and giving consumers a way to engage with services and third parties on their devices without giving up too much information. Uh, there's a lot more transparency of who has what data about the consumers and they're giving consumers more control around how their data or information is being used. So of course this entire experience is meant to help you have control over your data. Now, this is available across all of our platforms. So I would tell you, I think the mining of consumers' data and the monetization of consumers' data, that, this may accelerate the demise of that, but this was coming anyway. I think this is, from a consumer's point of view, this is overdue. And now you can get extended time to access sensor data and complete sessions like physical therapy. So with the Apple Watch, it's becoming a more autonomous device, not unlike the iPad and the other devices. So when we see the introduction of an app store, it's a more autonomous device. I think also Apple continues to build its leadership in the healthcare space. It's in a great position to monitor your environmental noise. If you tap the noise app, you'll get more detail and you can use the complication to check, which is to raise an arrest. Now, we're using advanced machine learning to remove duplicates and clutter and let you focus on your best shots. And we're taking these photos and we're intelligently organizing them. You know, what they're doing now is they're trying to make it more convenient. Uh, so they're using machine learning and the host of uh, technologies within artificial intelligence, for example, to make it easier to sort through my photos and find the right photos that I want. Uh, they're making it easier or better. Siri's now able to understand my intent when I talk to my phone. And so these may seem like really small steps, making it easier for me to get things done now, but they're on a path where eventually acting on consumers' behalf and really delivering convenience through their experiences. Well, next time you're in a messages conversation, you'll automatically get a notification letting them know that now is time to talk. It's really 